latest video on the squad of Rangers and whether I believe we should, we should keep and get rid of or be given a chance under Gerard and then see if they're staying or going. Uh, players that I think should be kept definitely will be Anik, uh, Declan John, Cardoso. Uh, Alves, McCrory, Doherty, Rosita, Holt, Dorns, Windass, Jack, Morelos, Hindus, Cummins, Murphy, and O'Hallam. Players I think should definitely go uh, will be Brian Martin, whose loan deal's gone. I wouldn't bring him back. Uh, Andy Halliday, I think, should go. He's been absolutely, I think, in all honesty, he's been, from in my opinion, he's been one of the worst players we've ever had in Rangers top. I don't think he's at a level, especially SPL wise. Uh, I just think there's, there's a lot better players out there that could do a job. And yeah, get rid of him. Uh, others to go: Joe Dudu, Herrera, Gomez, who was in loan. Uh, I'd get rid of him as well. Uh, and that's players I think should definitely go. Players that I think kind of need a bit up the backside, or should be seen in the end. See if we should be following them. James Taverner, and that's it. The one player I've never not mentioned, who I don't know what's happening. They've been Carlos Pena. There has been reports saying that he's coming back. There have been reports that something's been ha he's had personal problems. He's gone AWOL. Uh, so that sounds a bit worrying. I hope that it does get uh, found and that he's okay. Uh, also, I was going to do a out of 10 the players that I think uh, we deserve out of 10. I'd say West Fordham deserves a 4 because. There's been games, I don't know, distribution, they've been called in by a lot of Rangers supporters. And I think he's someone that does have a, quite a lot of games that he does get slated for. And I think he's someone that obviously you know, has a position that a lot of people do look strengthen and I think maybe there is someone that could do maybe do a better job for him. So yeah. Uh, Jack Hamlick I'll give him a four as well, that's only because he played more cup games than Fordham and the games that he has played I think was the last five. He did okay. I think that obviously the Celtic game and Hibs were the two games that he unfortunately conceded more goals than I think the five games that he's played so he's a four. James Tavener is a three because he does get goals he does have moments where he could hit free kick and it could be brilliant You've got other times whether it's a free kick or a corner, rather than putting it into the middle of the box or shooting, or at the front post he's hitting it to the back post. He's putting power rather than placement, and it's something that he's a bit inconsistent on. So that's my view on that. Declan John and Cardoso, Hodgson, I think are threes, only because they've not. Jordan has obviously been injured. Hodgson hadn't played. Kadoso got injured. 
when they had decent starts of the season. Uh, Alvarez will give a four. That's only because when he does look on his game, he does look a quality defender. He does help if it was a younger defender. I think him and Fatoso are the two that you could maybe see having a good relationship partnership because Portuguese and with Alvarez experience is something that I think had help younger players as well so that's my rating him. Ross McCrory a 7. He's been fantastic when he plays I know he's had a couple of injuries but he's someone that plays for the shot isn't bothered about his money just wants to make sure that he can play with a centre back or defence mid and just play basically. Russell Martin I'll give a th Three, that's only because when he does play well, at the start he looked decent and then later on I know there's a few handball incidents that I know people say isn't his fault but I think because obviously where his hands place or is and it's hit off and I think with someone with that experience you'd kind of know or try to make sure that you're not making the ref kind of go oh yeah it hit off your hand it's a penalty uh, Doherty, I'll give her a 6, that's only because he has been dropped the last few games, why I don't know, I think him and McCord have been the two kind of younger and experienced players that when they play, they can do, you know, they play for the shot, they work hard, they try and help the team out, track back and yeah, it's, he's some that Hopefully we'll get a good run out next season. Sean Goss and uh, Holt are two that I think Goss will give a two and Holt a three. Goss a two because when he first came he looked decent, played well. But then as soon as came with the league split, he just disappeared and got dropped Holt. He's someone that when he's kind of in the frame of mind he plays well, tracks back, goes forward, plays well, plays for sharp. so yeah I think he's someone that another one that got dropped as well so we'll see what happens with him next season. Jordan Rossiter a two, that's only because I know he's been injured for most of the season. Got on against Kilmarnock, I think, for the last five, ten minutes. Looked okay, but obviously don't know much. Uh, started in, against Hibs, did well. Got his goal, which was really good to see, but obviously got a knock. So, hopefully won't be out too long. Uh, Game Dons and Ryan Jack will give twos, that's only because Dorns, like uh, a few other players that come in at the start of the season were really good, look decent and as soon as the game's gone on just going out Jack I know he's the same, he looked well at the start of the season had a very good few games but obviously getting injured so obviously Mucked him a bit, so you know, to get to Josh Windass. I'm gonna give a, a four, that's only because away from home, he does score quite a few goals. He has done well away from home. The only thing that I think that I feel sorry for, anyway, is that maybe I don't know if it's his the name, i.e., Windass, because of his dad, Dean. But I think he's someone that needs a confidence boost. He's someone that you can see when he at Ibrox that when something doesn't go right, there is quite a lot of fans that get on his back. And I think he's someone that needs a confidence boost really quickly. And I think if you can get that and just get used to enjoying football, I think he could do well. 
Andy Halsey, I'm giving a one, and that's me being really nice. For me, he's someone that I can't see, especially as an SPL player. I think maybe Division 1 or now Championship level in Scotland, I think he's someone that just doesn't seem to want, you know, doesn't want to put a work in it. As soon as he plays, it's like, yeah, I'm playing Brown, I won't do anything. And he's someone that I think definitely the reality check he needs to realise that it's all fancy that I'm playing and not need to put a shift in. But, like I've said, and I'm not quite a few fans now saying that he should go, so yeah, hopefully he's, he'll go. Joe Dudu, Eduardo Herrera, and Gomez, I'll give one because I think if they did get games and probably did show something, they might have been okay, but they've not played. I think Dudu played for a bit. Gomez has played, I think, played about 10 games at the start of the season, and three of them have just you know, disappeared. Michael Hanlon, I'll give a three, because I think playing from playing 4-4-2, at St Johnston to when he came and going 4 3 3, he did struggle but got was doing well playing wise. To then go back to St Johnston in January or from the summer to January and score that amount of goals shows that he's obviously that he can score goals, that he just needs the right formation and the right players to set him up. So He's someone that I think, in the right position, he can do well. Uh, Morelis, Cummings and Murphy, I'll give a three. I think some games they can do be fantastic, other games they struggle, they just kind of don't seem in the mood to play. And it's something that maybe it's the lack of you know, not giving them a bit up the backside. Something that maybe next season, if they did, they might be different. And hopefully, the Cummings will stay as well as the other two. And last, but definitely not least, Tim Condace, I'm giving an 8. I think when he plays. Like McCroy, like Doherty, like Hope. He puts the shift in, he tries, even. I think it was Celtic in the league, even though we're losing, he was still trying to get the ball, get the ball moving, try and set people up, try and get. make something happen. And I think he's someone that is a bit. I notice in some games that don't realise that you know putting balls into the box, whatever. If he messes up, he knows it. You know if he won't kind of shrug it off, he'll know he'll be angry with himself and try and rectif you know, try and change it when next time he goes down the wing. So he's definitely a player I think will help next season for us. Some obviously plays for shot and yeah, can definitely do well for his next season and will be good. Oh, speaking of the new seasons, uh, um, hope Scott Arfield has a good season with us. It's good that we've got a player on now on that's signed on a four year deal. So yeah, we'll see who else comes in and. TV Angels hopefully get second or top. Thanks and we'll see you in the next video.